a finished boot. I used uh, the same aluminum to do a foot support here so I can hold the uh, shoe to my foot. I'm also using uh, just regular padding uh, sponge, a cheap sponge from the dollar store, duct taped, duct tape works wonders, and a cheap ass belt from Walmart to attach it to my leg, uh, as well as the tendon supports uh, from Lowe's. And we were having a small problem with this wire digging into the wood, so I put this small bracket and it's mounted to an eye hook on the bottom. So here's kind of a look of the whole finished shoe. Uh, don't think that the grip tape was required, but it does help. Uh, that's just regular no slip surface tape for steps. And I cut that to fit. Uh, it seems to be quite comfortable. Uh, I'm fixing to finish up the next boot. Uh, as you can tell, it's not done yet. But it's just uh, aluminum strips here. And I'm currently building the uh, foot. Uh, insert for the top part this right here so that's it okay here's an example of the way it's going to look like as I'm walking in the stilts it's kind of a uh, dragon leg form with all my weight basically leaning forward I don't know how much uh, I filmed of this helmet, if any. I custom made a uh, aluminum helmet for the mask. Kind of gives a better looking effect, like an armored helmet, if you will. And this is what it looks like when it's on his head. I'll pause this and put it on. This is a view of the helmet mounted to the mask. Side view. Kind of gives more of an armored effect, like a dragon rider would have. Instead of just no grumpy ass man. Okay, since I went through all the trouble building these boots, uh, we're going to uh, not keep them covered. Instead, we're going to build a dragon leg that goes up and around with paper mache here. I'm fixing to mount the side plates for the wire mesh to mount, and we'll document this as we go along. Okay, now the supports are mounted for the wire mesh to go around, and trust me, even watching this in fast forward would be boring to see. Okay, here we have the uh, leg completely covered with paper mache, or paper, I'm sorry, the wire mesh prepped for paper mache. Uh, it's mounted to the brackets, as you can see here, and uh, the only thing left to do is just do the wire mesh for the feet and the toes and the back claw obviously in the back as well as the back claw coming out of here before we actually paper and mache it so there you have it that's one boot down and uh, after three hours we want one to go okay now you can see that the uh, boots wire mesh has been completed I'm going to start working on the uh, wire mesh toes for the dragon and then we will paper mache it and show you another video and now we're taking a uh, wire mesh and uh, making little rolls out of it to make the the toes here's a kind of a close-up view of the way the toes look this will be a wire mesh uh, paper mache over uh, we'll put a toenail on the end of it to make it look more realistic but here's the attempt at the uh, the feet now the legs have been made okay now we have uh, all the toes made on both legs. This is the back dew claw. Here's a front a view of the front three toes for paper mache. And here's the one claw that I've made. It's going to be a toenail claw. And then uh, we'll just paper mache after this. Okay, now I'm in the process of uh, painting this shield that I got from a friend of mine. Uh, it did have this little paper cross glued on it, little cardboard particle board crap. And so I ripped it off and sanded the uh, aluminum down, or buffed it down if you will. And uh, here is the process of uh, painting some gloss black uh, with the same cross. I don't know if you can see it, but that's the same cross that I just showed you. 
but with gloss black painted on a really nice this is the third coat and so I think that'll look really nice once we get this done and I'll show you the shield I can't really uh, show you much of the shield because it's covered in paper but once it's done I'll show you what it looks like over to my left uh, I built a sheath for my uh, sword that I'm going to be that's going to be mounted as well uh, I, didn't, I didn't mention that the shield's going to be mounted to the side of the dragon this will be the sword uh, in its sheath mounted to uh, the side of the dragon as well. This is made out of just pleather boat material I have got from a buddy of mine and sewed it together to form this little cute little carrying case and it's taking forever to dry so I have my fan over there drying it and it's uh, going to dry overnight and then we'll have two items to mount to the side of the dragon. This is my badass sewing machine. Uh, actually, it's not. Don't ever buy Brother because they suck. But anyway, that's what we're sewing all this together. This is a little table that we work at to do all the cloth work. And that's about it for now. Okay, now all the dragon toes are mounted on the feet, as you can see here. And now it's time to yield uh, that I'm fixing to uh, take the. Uh, the tape off of that's painted gloss so we'll see how this turns out hopefully it uh, it looks good I'll show you to you in just a second okay here's a view of the uh, cross after it has been painted and the tape removed turned out way better than expected looks pretty good So that will be the shield that's mounted to the side of the dragon body. Now on to the paper mache of the shoes. Alright, here's a two hours worth of paper mache. Now I kind of got kind of a, a dragon foot slash bargain journal look going on. This is where we actually found one of the Halloween contests we're going to show you pictures of. So if I place but this is a look before we start doing the top part of the leg and uh, after looking at the dew claw it kind of looks like more like an eagle or in other, other words other things sticking out of the back of the ankle so uh, we're going to give that some more definition whenever this dries <laughs> okay as we were paper macheing uh, we noticed uh, in the bargain journal here that there's a Halloween contest in Muskogee and that is going to be on Sunday October uh, 31st Halloween and first place is one thousand dollars. Second place is seven fifty. Third place is five hundred, and fourth is one fifty. Now, if I don't make some money with this monstrosity costume, uh, they've got bad judges. Is all I can say. But you never know with them Cherokee Indians. By the way, I'm Cherokee. I can say that. So any Cherokees are pissed off. Uh, get over it. So we're going to enter that one Sunday. Ta. -da. All right, here's the ingredients that we're using to uh, make paper mache. One additive is the uh, wood glue that works really well. I uh, found this recipe on the internet. You, most people just use the water and flour. It does harden like the rest, but this wood glue here, it does uh, minimize, almost eliminates cracking of, of any of the surface. So I totally recommend uh, this, probably about uh, half a cup of this per Per bowl about the size that she's mixing up about two inches